The shotgun, also referred to the scatter gun, is typically designed to fire tiny projectiles of shot or slugs. It's also typically a smooth single barrel, double barrel pump, lever action, or semi-automatic, in some cases, full auto. It's designed for close quarter combat, as well as fast moving hunting targets like birds or rabbits. And there's a lot of things you probably know about the shotgun, but what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about 10 things you probably didn't know about the shotgun. Number one, earliest signs of a shotgun-like gun can be found in the Hu Longying manual that was written between 1200 and 1280 AD in China. Also referred to as the Fire Drake Manual or the Fire Dragon Manual. This provided information on gunpowder and gunpowder weapons, including bombs, fire arrows, rockets, landmines, naval mines, cannons on wheeled carriages, and handguns. But shotgun-like weapons can also be found in this manual. One is referred to as the Simu Bai Dan Chung, which is the mother of a hundred bullets. It is a spear that fires shrapnel and gunpowder in one end. Also, you can find the Yi Ba Lang, or Lotus Bunch, which is a bamboo shoot that shoots darts and gunpowder. The Fire Gun, or Ho Quang, which is a double-barreled lance that fires two rounds of shrapnel, quite possibly the first double-barreled shotgun out there. Typically what they did was they took a bamboo tube and filled it with a mixture of gunpowder and fired metal scraps, porcelain shards, or metal balls, and referred to this as a Mantang Pen Taong, or the Sky Filling Spurting Tube. Number two. A fire lance or a fire tube is the earliest depiction of a shotgun which came out of a Chinese painting on a silk banner that was thought to have been created as early as 950 AD. It was found at a Buddhist site of Dung Hung, which is known as quite possibly the very first shotgun ever made. Number three, these early bamboo shotguns were not ideal to fire high nitrite gunpowder. It wasn't until around 1200 AD that the first metal barrels came around. Number four, Early metal barrels shotgun were referred to as the fire lance were still fairly weak to handle high nitrite gunpowder. So along with metal scraps, porcelain shards, darts, or tiny metal balls, also what they'd often include is poisonous arsenic oxide. Number five. By 1300 AD, the hand cannon was really the first handgun in Europe, but the handgun had been transformed into a larger, more powerful firearm, still firing projectiles like rocks or pebbles, metal balls, what until 1560 when the first matchlock arquebus, which is the first shotgun to be fired with a trigger. Number six. By the 1700s, the blunderbuss, which is also Dutch for thunderpipe, came around. This is what many historians refer to as the predecessor of the modern shotgun. It's a short range flared barrel firing metal projectiles or shot. And this was a military firearm for all of Europe until the 1800s when it was replaced by the carbine for most militaries. Number seven. By the 1800s, with the invention of the rifle barrels, the smaller bore shotguns became a different type of gun altogether. But it was in 1875 that the box hawk action, which is a hammerless break open action for single or double barrel shotguns, and it was at that moment that the double barrel shotgun dominated. Number eight. Around the mid 1800s, the shotgun began to define the American West. It was preferred by cavalry units of both sides of the Civil War. It was the weapon of choice for Doc Holliday at the OK Corral. Famous stagecoach robber Black Bart used a double barrel shotgun and oftentimes just standing in the middle of the road pointing it at the driver to stop the stagecoach. Stagecoaches would employ one passenger with a double barrel shotgun or coach gun, which then coined the term riding shotgun. Number nine. In 1887, John Browning revolutionized the shotgun into what we see today as most modern shotguns with the invention of the Model 1887, which was the very first successful reloading cartridge shotgun. It was a lever action repeating shotgun and was revised in 1901 to handle bigger loads of 10 or 12 gauge. John Browning recommended to Winchester that this design was better used as a pump action, but being famous for their lever action guns, Winchester went with the lever action. And finally, number 10. In 1893, John Browning designed the first reliable pump action shotgun the Winchester Model 1897, or M97, or trench gun. So it was produced between 1897 and 1957 with over 1 million sold. In 1950, Remington started producing the Model 870, which made over 11 million. In 1960, Mossberg started the production of the 500 series, which also produced over 11 million. With a rich history like that, one could easily say that there is no other gun that has been used in more battles 
than the shotgun. So there you go. There's the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the shotgun. I know there's all sorts of stuff I didn't mention. If you have any, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can now find us on Facebook and on Twitter, as well as GodFamilyAndGuns.org. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.